Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can set up your own PyPI instance, which is going to synchronize from the official PyPI.org. And in order to do that, uh, <coughs> you need to have at least, I think, a Python 3.4 built on your platform. So you can use it on your local laptop or uh, management server which has a dedicated access to the internet where you want to distribute these python packages from so now i'm going to ssh in my centos a machine and show you the steps that are needed to perform this so basically what we would like to do is to have a sudo prompt and we would like to group install the development tools and after that is done what we need to do is to install the SQLite Devil, the wget, the gcc, openss and so on what is needed for us to build python from source then if that was installed what we would like to do is to get the source files for the python 3.7 I prefer to use this version of Python because it has everything that I need for my daily work. Now we can extract it and change the Python folder. And what we would like to do is to configure with the dash dash enable optimizations. Configure great since this is preparing our source from for uh, compilation now what we would like to do after this is complete is to make alt install and that is going to place the files in their let's say righteous place that allow you to use the python interpreter and this can take some time but uh, uh, what should I show you until then? So basically, this is the devpi.net that I'm using for my video. And under the read documentation, we are using this setup permanent install on the, de on the server laptop. And these are the steps that are explained in this video. But uh, <coughs> if you want, you will have a link in the video's description that allow you to reproduce this state. So we are almost done. And after this was done, what we need to do is to grab a pip installer. And this pip installer comes from the get pip site. And basically this is the command that we need. And after that, we need to differentiate between the two Python instances that we are going to have. So we will have a default Python instance, that is the 2.7.13 maybe, and the one that we are building from source. And uh, we are going to need the older version to run the supervisor D package or service that will host our web interface. And then, we are going to need a Python 3.7 to actually run this devpi server and devpi client. So in order for this to work, we are almost done. Oh boy, this is so fast. Let's see our resource utilization. Oh, we are almost there. So now we can install the Python get pip py and the python 3.7 get pip py all right since this is done what we need or would like to do is to install the dev pi server and once that is completed we can install the dev pi client and the dev pi web so client and the web great now we can check the devpi servers version 
with this command. So if we did everything correctly, it will return a version. Otherwise, it will throw uh, an error message and you can go troubleshoot it. <laughs> and now what we would like to do is to issue the dev pi init command. So dev pi init. And now we can use the gen config command, which will generate the configuration that will take place in the gen config folder. And here we have the supervisor D and other stuff. So we would like to use Python dash pip install supervisor to install the package that we are going to use to host this instance. And after this is completed, we will use the configuration file to actually start the service. And we would like to use the system CTR to stop the firewall D. And <coughs> if that was stopped, what we can do is to load the following package. So HTTP sent to us, say 4040. And there you go. So now you are able to search for packages. Udemy. And it will return a result <laughs> in a minute. Because now it tries to sync the uh, cache from the pypi.org. And uh, if we would like to set up our pip instance to be used by this host, what we would like to do is to export the pip index URL variable with the HTTP localhost 4040 root pypi plus simple. Now, if we issue the pip install, what should we install? Requests. Then what you see is that it is looking for indexes on the specified URL and it is going to give you the packages that you want. PyPI <coughs> also has a way of managing users and their own namespaces and you can specify inheritance. So if you have multiple Python developers which would push packages against the PyPI or have their own PyPI repository, what you can do is to set up uh, their own space in which they can work and push packages to. But that is not in the scope of this video. But if you like this video and you want to know more, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.